Hey everyone, today I wanted to talk to you about all the plastic in our drinking water. No, no, not the plastic our drinking water is in, the plastic that's in our drinking water. According to a review done in 2022, the average American consumes over 70,000 microplastics each year in their drinking water. That's tap and bottled water, by the way. Now, the long-term effects of microplastics on people still isn't widely known. But I can't imagine anything made from liquidized dinosaur bones is anything we'd really want to consume. Probably best to leave car food for the cars, and just stick to people food. Microplastics aren't exactly a new problem, just one that's become more widely known. Though not exactly a shocking one. After all, we see this same trash in our streets every day. And if there's one thing some people like to do, it's litter. Even when we try and make it as easy as possible not to, people still do it. Have you ever been to a McDonald's parking lot and see someone just chuck their entire bag of takeout trash out into the parking lot? Who does that? Even if I was out eating in my car and just so completely stuffed from my meal that I really, really just couldn't be bothered to go inside and toss my trash, they have drive up trash cans. But even if they didn't, Take it home. Throw it away later. You don't just toss it on the ground like a savage. Ah, uh, I think I'm getting a little off topic. The point is, people littering, not surprising. Trash ending up in the water. Yep, I could totally see that. Well, when plastic is in the water, over time, due to sunlight, water movement, just general wear and tear, those big pieces start breaking down into smaller pieces. I'm talking super teeny tiny pieces. Microplastic. So yeah, not only are you drinking plastic, it's also filthy trash. Yay! Did I mention microplastics are super small? Well, they are. In fact, it's hard to effectively filter it back out of water, apparently, because we're not already doing that at water treatment plants. Now, I say hard, not impossible, because of course we could filter it out, but like everything else, it just comes down to money. Shocking, I know. It's the same reason communities near the ocean don't just desalinate ocean water into drinking water. Believe it or not, it's actually more cost effective to just truck the water in from somewhere else. So what's being done about it? Some governments are investing in better waste management systems to prevent plastic from contaminating water in the first place. But they can't entirely keep plastic from getting in the water because it turns out better waste management systems wasn't code for just paying people to pick up all the litter. Uh, but don't worry, I I'm sure all those taxes you paid on the new bill were well spent. I mean, if you can't trust the government, who can you trust, right? <clears throat> so, since that bombed, they are creating legislation on single-use plastics. In fact, many governments have already put laws like this into place, banning or limiting single-use plastics. That's why we get to use those reusable bags, and we can just bring them back and use them again. And of course, when I say bring them back and use again, I mean, forget at home because you weren't really expecting to be shopping today and having to buy another. Eh. But for instance, after New Jersey's ban, a beach cleanup effort found 46% fewer single-use plastic bags than before the ban. So it, it is having a measurable impact. <coughs> that was probably loud. There's also the push to educate the public about the impact of plastic waste and how to reduce it. How much impact this will actually have, only time will tell, but given humanity's track record of convenience over conservationism, conservationism? Pretty sure that's a word. It's not exactly a slam dunk. And hey, I'm not pointing any fingers. Ever since learning that just 100 companies have been responsible for about 71% of greenhouse gases since 1988, I'm not exactly struggling over a moral dilemma every time I drive to work. That's from a widely cited report called the Carbon Disclosure Project, by the way. And finally, while well, certainly the most expensive solution, it's also the one most likely to make the biggest impact. Some places are just straight up updating water treatment plants.
crazy, huh? To ensure that they're equipped to filter out microplastics. Oh, incidentally, hashtag not sponsored, they do sell personal water filters that claim to filter out microplastics. You remember Life Straws? Yeah, they sell those uh, pitcher filters now. And they say that their filters go all the way down to 0.2 microns. No idea what a micron is. And in fact, I refuse to look it up on principle. What principle? Laziness. But in their words, it removes 99.9% .9 of microplastics, which sure sounds like a lot. Yeah, that's pretty much it. This was just a topic I was interested in, saw an article, did some more research on it. Uh, hope you found it useful and maybe somewhat entertaining. If you have any thoughts, drop a comment. I do read them. Uh, and maybe a like, winky face. Cringe, cringe. Yeah. Yes, um, but th this is the outro portion. Uh, haven't really figured this out yet, so bye.